Hello my SOC universe, let's talk about something a little bit more positive Corona related and for that I'm wearing my Hertha jersey again um, because from all we can tell the Bundesliga seems to be closest into resuming and finishing the season. They have been training in small groups for I want to say almost two weeks I think I heard Bayern and the idea is of course that you want to have small groups only so I think they were talking five to six players that uh, do uh, training together uh, they are regularly tested and if someone tests positive then the whole group is quarantined um, in Austria today, Lask as the first Austrian team started also to train in uh, small groups. Tomorrow the other teams will probably follow. So some small hope uh, is there. Um, and I know what they did is they made groups of six with two defenders, two uh, strikers and two midfielders kind of to... Um, if a group is affected that it's kind of spread out and I think that the Bundesliga they do something similar because that it would be the worst case scenario like you have all your strikers together and suddenly that group needs to be isolated yeah who's gonna play up front um, goalkeepers I think that's the big question to me how how do you deal with goalkeepers in that sense but maybe you gotta keep them also somehow separate and assign them to one group uh, and that way you'll be safe, probably goalkeeper instead of a striker, or something like that. So yeah, this is how you do the training in these circumstances. Uh, I am still asking myself, I mean, the tests that are done are the antibody tests, which kind of um, show, do you have, have any resilience to the virus built up, which I read already is, yeah, they are available, they are easy to do, uh, however, they're not very conclusive because we know too little about uh, COVID-19 at the moment. So that's slight, uh, a slight, uh, that's a big downside uh, in my opinion for now. And the other tests, I still feel, yeah, last today said, yeah, if you're a season ticket holder and so on, you can make your Corona test here, uh, but the president and even the managers say it is still yeah we have we have to do this in order to do that and we want to keep our competitive edge so we need to do it but aren't those tests more needed in other areas and especially the manager is very doubtful he thinks it's not quite the time to get going uh because as much as a big business soccer is and as much as we all love watching it it's not the most important thing to happen at this very moment. I still feel that way. However, let's assume things are going to happen. I also hear that uh, Formula One is going to plan the first Grand Prix, maybe even two in Austria, which uh, seems promising. And, you know, we know that darts leagues are playing a home series. You know, some sports might come up. Uh, I hear that in baseball in the MLB they are thinking of playing everything in Arizona you know it will start pop popping up now and then I personally fear and now this is the last uh, kind of negative negative thing because I well, well, want to get to the real fun part but um, I can't I can't I can't fear it and then there comes a second wave and everything has to shut down down again so better get it done quick to avoid that trouble um, but yeah if it goes ahead spectator sports has to be without spectators. Uh, that's pretty clear. I think in Germany they put the limit on 239 people. In Austria say it has to be at least 140. Uh, I mean they need probably less for TV and all those kind kind of things. But uh, it is a quite of a limited number and you have to observe uh, the distancing. I was actually thinking at first but I think it's not the problem within the stadium, but getting people towards the stadium. You know, if you say only a third capacity and if you have assigned seats, then everyone, you can probably space them out or maybe go a ninth or whatever. You space them out that there's at least a seat or two seats are free and that way you could probably have a distance. But as I said, the problem is everyone will arrive at the same time and they have to ride together and that will cause problems. So. 
let's not have that and let's have it behind closed doors. And now uh, in Germany, they're of course thinking, we saw uh, Gladbach play against Köln, empty stadium, ugly. I mean, I've seen my uh, games, my fair share of games behind closed doors. In German, we call it Geisterspiele, which is ghost games. And this is actually you um, take this term and say, and say the punishment is a ghost game for you. I really liked it better as playing behind closed doors because it's a mouthful. But I know yeah, I cannot put this up in the description because everyone will watch Geisterspiele. What's that? So yeah, but I really like like this name Ghost Games because that's what it is. I mean, you play uh, in front of ghosts and now literally this idea is coming up. So uh, people say, yeah, we need to do something because uh, especially in Germany, one big selling point are the fans and what they're uh, they're chanting and you know there's a big standing room culture I wouldn't go as far I personally I like uh, what the fans are doing in Italy a little bit better but in general uh, German football is very 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 fan friendly and to keep this atmosphere and you know the, the grounds are usually sold out uh, very close to cap filled to capacity Hertha being an exceptional although they pull 40,000 at least every every game but they play in an 80,000 stadium so I mean there's a whole different problem that the stadium is not pro properly sized but you know a good team pulls quite uh, some spec spectators so how do you keep kind of the experience and there are three ideas and I, I, I actually read about the fourth one that uh, can be added on I mean uh, before we go to Germany, in Austria, yes, there is Rapid that has usually, uh, is very well visited. There is Lask now, that they have a small stadium, is very well vi visited, but most teams play anyway in front of small crowds. So, um, yes, you will, will not hear the fans, but it will actually not distract too much <laughs> from the experience in a way. Although, yeah, nah, it, it, it will be a sad story. But yeah. Let's go through the ideas. The first one, and that's what was what's, what's on thumbnail, is that uh, Mönchengladbach Gladbach said, well, uh, upload your image and we'll print it and we'll pay, uh, put a cardboard uh, picture of you uh, into the stands. And already a thousand people did that and they're putting them up and, you know, it's slightly filling. And I think if looked from the right angle, it actually looks not that bad. I mean, it seems like people are there. The problem is cardboard lacks depth. So if you move a little bit out, it kind of looks still very, 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 very empty. And I'm not sure if that will uh, have any big impact on the TV picture. But, you know, as a thought, that could work. I actually like the idea. Uh, another idea I like is that in Köln, uh, they're thinking of making... Uh, still having the choreography somehow there um, even without the fans that this is kind of you have the flags and so on that they're automated and you know you see all that thing happening could work I think the most promising but also the least uh, distinct one is you can have a fan app and the fan app is you kind of have an app you watch the game on TV and if you want to clip you press a button to clap. If you want to chant something, you press a button to chant. Uh, and this is all fed into the sound system of the stadium to create an atmosphere. That actually, I think, might be uh, to at least get the acoustics right. And, you know, combine this maybe with the cardboard people, maybe you get something. I mean, it will still sound kind of, kind of fake. I'm actually thinking the German Bones League will then a little bit sound like a roll cup but um, so be it uh, at least there's some experience back and I think with that uh, app especially if the fan clubs can coordinate themselves well well enough there is a chance that actually it might work and now the last idea that, that I got and this is uh, from Denmark Midjylland is trying to do that and that is also interesting you know I think that most of the organized fans meanwhile have realized um, Going to a stadium, not a good idea. However, Midtjylland uh, said, we still want to give the fans the experience of going to the stadium. And they are uh, thinking of doing a drive-in theater kind of thing. Have two big video walls installed outside of the stadium. We have parking lots for 2,000 people. Have the people come there and watch the game on the video screens right outside of the stadium and cheer them on that way. Now, what will sound like a lot of honking, I mean, this will probably sound a little bit like Eastern Europe or the Vuvuzelas, 
Um, but hey, it gives you the stadium experience. Uh, maybe, I don't know if it will be free or not. That's, I didn't read. But it's also an interesting idea. So, I mean, there are ideas out there. And Denmark also wants to start, I think, mid to May already, like Austria and so on. I still don't know how to if Aust the Aust Austrian League, they have to kind of check with the government if their plan is working. And there are many uncertainties, especially financial ones, that need to be still be uh, taken care of. But yeah, I just thought if it's gonna happen and if we're gonna watch game behind, games behind closed doors, it might not be as dull as we were all fearing. And that is a good part and maybe two weeks time we might get some soccer. That might not be the worst thing. As I said, I'm thinking Germany, Austria, uh, Denmark look at least primed to go. Uh, I think Spain, Italy, that will have to wait a while and England also. But yeah, we might see something. So keep fingers crossed uh, that we can finish that. Uh, as I said, I'm still a little bit split on how realistic all of this is but hey let's see let me know what you think about these ideas or if you had any other ideas how to kind of recreate a little bit of stadium atmosphere uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.